Okay, welcome to Linux Music One this week. We're going to look at uh, hands-free music, and I hope that you are uh, following along, uh, playing with this stuff in your own in your own computer. Uh, let's get started. Okay, well, hopefully this looks familiar to you from last week, uh, where we took the MIDI keyboard coming in and ran it through an envelope generator out to an amplifier uh, through a voltage control oscillator and then out to the speakers uh, where you could hear it. And what we're going to do this week is something you see in modular synthesizers but you don't see uh, much in other implementations of synthesizers other than modular ones and that is uh, to have uh, quantizers to have to have the thing make music itself. So let's unhook the MIDI keyboard here I was right clicking right click here remove that module and I'm gonna go put in a thing let's try that again called a quantizer and if I look here quantization this says 1 12th or you know one, one note in a in a uh, in an octave I can come down here and change it to a major scale, a minor scale, and what actually happens is noise or some random event comes in here uh, based on the voltage, in, in a hardware synth, based on the voltage uh, that comes in, it picks one of those 12 notes or one of those 5 notes or whatever that would be uh, and, and sends out that specific uh, note. So it basically a quantizer takes a uh, random uh, input and scales it to one of however many things we've got. I'll put in another quantizer here. And I might as well set that to pentatonic while I'm at it. And lastly, I'll put in a noise module. And let's move these over a little bit. Okay, I'll run some pink noise into that quantizer. I'll run a random number generator into this quantizer. And I'll put this trigger into the trigger of that quantizer. So random noise is coming in, triggering different things. In the meantime, pink noise is coming in here. And... Uh, picking one of the five notes. Uh, what we get by using the second uh, quantizer here is we can kind of slow down those notes and you'll see that in just a minute. But in the meantime, let's take our uh, quantizer, our uh, output, and run it into the VCO, and take our trigger out and run it into the gate like before. And hopefully you can hear that. Now watch what happens when I'll change my random rate. So what that's really saying is gate this thing quicker. Gate this thing slower. So basically, we have hands-free music. Now let's uh, go and uh, put on a couple other modules just because, you know, why not? Let's put on a filter that we have explored in other weeks. And we will uh, maybe disconnect here. And let's pick a saw wave into the filter. Put back into there.
at Saul as much as I thought I would. Let's try it. Now, just because it's a really cool effect, let's come up here to our lap store browser, and I'm going to put in Canyon, and grab a Canyon delay. Unhook here. Unhook here. Run these into my Canyon delay. And let's bounce off the walls a little bit. You can hear that sound bouncing around in the canyon and that's a very nice effect and if you were to go to the uh, demos and tutorials like we talked about last week you'd see that this is very very close to the uh, first demo that they pull out to show you how to how to use this thing Oops. now one thing that's kind of interesting is even though I don't have uh, my MIDI control voltage thing in here for the keys, I can still come up and turn on my MIDI keyboard and I will have to come up here to Jack, come over here to my connections, hook my keyboard to AMS like we did last time. Now I can come up here, look at my control center, and let's just pick one of my uh, MIDI keys. I'm going to use the uh, pitch bend wheel, and there it is, and I'll come here to my uh, voltage control filter, and I'm going to map my pitch bend to the frequency. So now it's like, well, I thought I was. So you see that even though I don't have an MVC module set here, uh, I've used Jack, I've hooked the MIDI control keyboard to uh, AMS, and consequently I can use any of the controls on my uh, the knobs, the dials, the sliders on my uh, uh, keyboard to control the sound. And that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, once again, uh, let me... Let me turn that down so we can chat here. Uh, once again, uh, we took noise. We put uh, noise into a quantizer that would uh, uh, put into one of five notes. And we took a random thing out, uh, also of the noise, 
and started using it to trigger this quantizer to change the note. Uh, we can change how fast that goes. Uh, and, and the rest of it's just like you saw before. We added on a control filter, a uh, voltage control filter that you've seen a lot of times. We added on one of the plugins. Uh, we showed you that last week. So this is uh, a good demo of, of automated sound. So I hope that was good for you. And uh, get in there, roll up your sleeves. Uh, let's have some fun. Now you gotta admit that was pretty cool. Uh, Hands-free music. Uh, as always, uh, check your versions if your stuff doesn't act like my stuff. Uh, otherwise, go to the websites, uh, see what these guys have to offer. And, and like I said, with this AMS in particular, down in the user share folders are are tons of tutorials and demos to to really pump you up and uh, get you going. It's it's pretty cool stuff. So. That being said, I hope that this gave you something to play with uh, for a while, and I'll, I'll see you next week.